We're here at the main workings for the Cremona mine and we're going to venture up this hill a little ways because we think that there's a natural cavern up just above this ridge line and we're going to try to find that. So we're here at Bear Cave and this is just behind the ridge of the Cremona mine and this is actually one of the few naturally formed caves here in the Cascades. The Cascades aren't very good for natural caves due to the <clears throat> due to the rock gauge and the weathering that goes on here and there just isn't a lot of limestone and this doesn't appear to be limestone. I'm not really sure how this cave formed actually, but it is natural. They discovered it when they were prospecting the Cremona mine back in, I believe, the early 20th century. But this cave is very poorly documented. I haven't been able to find anything online except for historical records from uh, library searches when they had the prospectors come in here. but. To my knowledge, this is a relatively unvisited area. You have to hike for many miles, bushwhack, go over ridges, and it's kind of treacherous terrain. But you can see we're facing the Monte Cristo area, and so this entire region was very rich in minerals. This cave, one thing you might notice, is that it's covered in this blue copper ore. It's everywhere here. This might have been one of the uh, one of the indicators that they use to actually start mining the Cremona mine. If they found all of this copper here. You can see virtually all the rocks are covered in this turquoise copper material. There's a good chunk of iron too, but that isn't really what they were after. There are better places for iron than this. If you look closely here, you'll kind of see a purplish glimmer on the rock, and that's Bornite. And then you'll see the iron veins there. And this one's actually kind of interesting because you can see that, that thing right there, that gleam, and that's mica, which is a mineral that forms in these sorts of ores. That isn't something we saw in the mine itself, though. This is a good example of Bornite. You can see it kind of scattered about there. Very interesting. Actually, that might be pyrite. It's got kind of a cubic structure to it. So this cave is very rich in minerals. Great for rock hounds, but again, very difficult to reach. The upper part of the wall is wet, so maybe that's partly how this formed. So usually it has to do with water dissolving some kind of mineral. And it might have been that this particular region was just so rich in minerals that it was easily dissolved by the rainwater. So that's Bear Cave. Just a little side trip from the Cremona mine. Pretty interesting area.